Well, for me, I couldn't even be a Christian if love wasn't at the heart of Christian theology. Um, my way of thinking about God, my life, etc., stems from love. So it isn't as if um, you know I'm a Nazarene and I happen to be a Christian. I'm a Christian who happens to think that the Wesleyan holiness tradition and the way it thinks about love fits best with the biblical witness and how I see the world today. And, and as you rightly said, that's the, uh, the prominence of love has played an important role in our uh, history. My own views uh, pertain to trying to describe more carefully what love is about. Too often people think of love as kind of a sentimental, wishy-washy, anything goes, extreme tolerance kind of a thing. And I want to talk about love as promoting well-being, in fact, overall well-being, or what Jesus would say, the abundant life that he came to give, or being a blessing, or shalom, or the kingdom of God, those kinds of things. And not only that, I want to ask the question, what would it mean if we really took seriously this, what I think is the central biblical notion that God loves us and expects us to love God and others in return? What would that say about God's power? What would that say about who God includes and who God's seeking to save? What would that say about who we include and who we're trying to reach out to? What would that say about evangelism? What would that say about preaching, et cetera, et cetera? And so my writing has, part of it has been kind of technical and scholarly, hammering out a definition of love and in, in uh, dialogue with the sciences and philosophy and the theological tradition. And then another part of it has been kind of more narrowly theological. What would a doctrine of God look like if we took the central biblical claims of love to their logical conclusion? And my own work in following that line of thinking is very much in the Wesleyan tradition, but has branched out in some new ideas. I think they're in keeping with our theology, but um, they're not a repeat of what everyone else has said.